All right, so in the last class, I um, explained protection isolation circuit for the Compal for the HP DV4, right? And um, this is our Intel Series 5 chipset board, right? Intel Series 5, and I explained it isolation and protection circuit for this board where how power AC in is generated and that it has to be high level to conduct these two MOSFETs right these two MOSFETs PQ101 and PQ103 with a high level of power AC in signal coming to, to these two MOSFETs right and conducting ground and these two resistors will become a voltage divider to pull down this voltage of the gate to 8 voltage right then it produces what P4 through this current limiting resistor to produce B plus point, right? I also explained the battery cutoff isolation circuit or adapter cutoff when the program inside of the IO controller, the EC which is embedded inside the IO controller, communicates with the, the, the charging IC and to send the adapter cutoff signal so that the ground will shift over here and ground this will become 15.62 volts, then the battery will discharge, right? And I also explained the, the AC in circuit, and now I'm gonna explain the this circuit right this is another circuit where we're going to explain all right so when v in comes through this voltage divider of pr 131 and pr 135 of 133 kilo ohm and pr 135 of 10 kilo ohm which will be compared with this voltage right where would, where is this 1.2 volt reference voltage coming from this regulator here it is 1.24 v which is rep this is this is a, a diode with iode anode cathode with a reference voltage which is see there p number four which is connected with p number three right the anode is connected to ground remember the anode in this one is connected mm -hmm. to ground the cathode is connected to the supply which is coming through this v in resistor to produce through this diode to produce 1.24 volts right uh -huh. v in underscore one right is which is compared with v in to produce ac in and power ac in right i explained that last week which mm -hmm. is clamped by this general diode, right? This is mm -hmm. a clamped, so the voltage will be clamped. So it's steady, right? So this 1.2 volt, 1.2 volt voltage reference voltage is compared with these V in, right? So this will become higher than this is the inverting, right? And this is the the positive is the non-inverting. So if the voltage on the non-inverting side is higher than the non than the inverting, it will then output the high level which will output right this is pulled up by a plus 3 volt l who sends this plus 3 volt l signal voltage this is a pull up resistance right because it's pulled up by a supply where anybody see this circle with a resistor it's called a pull up resistance remember there are three four types of resistance on a laptop right mm -hmm. so we have thermal resistance pull up resistance pull down pull resistance down. right so we have to repeat thermal right pull up and pull, pull up, up we have pull down and we have protective resistance. So I'm going to explain the four. protective resistance. There's four. There's a fourth one, which is the protective resistance. And you will normally find them in a PWM circuit, right? A PWM circuit, we just said, consists of a PWM IC, two MOSFETs, one Kyle, and a capacitance, right? So the purpose of the protective resistance is when the, the circuit becomes under high load, a high efficiency of current these resistors are used to protect these devices so this is why they use it if you look if you notice uh, when i'm doing the practical i'm going to show you where you see two zero ohm resistance they are normally have zero ohm and they are used to monitor the current just like the current limiting resistor limiting. which is almost zero ohm see 0 0.012 to me zoom in see 0 0.012 so this is a zero ohm resistance right so there's a small voltage drop over this side when it comes from p2 to b plus point right so this is a current limiting resistor this is also acting as a protective resistance also all right this is also acting as a protective resistance so there are three as i said four types of resistance so this is a pull-up resistance right so let me go back so when v in is coming through this part um voltage divider we can call it a, a partial pressure voltage divider or a pull down resistance it will be compared with 1.2 volt reference right as you can see here it is clamped by a diode pd104 this is clamped right steady voltage supplying pin number eight right which is a delay which is a delay this is a rc right this is a delay circuit so the purpose of the delay circuit is to get to is to to get rid of the amount of sine wave or square wave so on the oscilloscope you get something like this that is the purpose of the delay circuit so the delay circuit on the oscilloscope 
on the oscilloscope which is square wave this is the wave that you will get right this is the wave form this is the wave form for a delay circuit right something like this right no square wave normally you will have something like this right mm -hmm. but this one has for the rc delay circuit we have a resistor right which is coming with a capacitance right you get a square wave like this so the purpose of it is to get rid of the square wave and to give you a nice curve like this on the oscilloscope right so if it was a if it was in the case like this right if it's all in the case like this where you have the resistance behind it you'll get another square wave which is something like this so that's the waveform that you'll get on the oscilloscope so this is another RC delay capacitor. The capacitance is coming with delay with the resistance. So these are the difference between the two waveforms that you'll find on the oscilloscope when you're checking the RC delay. So this is a this is a RC delay circuit, right? Right. So where the resistance is multiplied by the capacitance, and you get your output timing the delay time where the circuit will start to produce a specific voltage mm -hmm. that, 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 that look like say, the, you know the EKG on the, on the thing there, the, the mm -hmm. doctor place yeah man yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> right so so as I said oops let me right so this is this is the this is how the circuit is if you put the scope here you will get that is the, the waveform like this one like this one right here all right so this, uh, this is a comparator LM393 PU102A. Remember, this chip is a physical appearance of a MOSFET, right? Mm -hmm. Which resembles a MOSFET. So, this is an eight leg MOSFET um, IC uh, uh, LM393. It's a comparator or operational amplifier or op amp, right? So, as I said, when this voltage will come to the non inverting side, it's compared with 1.2 volt at the inverting section, it will output a high level because V in will be higher than 1.2 volt, right? Mm -hmm. So if you want to calculate that, we can calculate it using the calculator again. If you want the specific or the direct value, right, we can use your resistance voltage divider of, so let's say PR that's 1. So the voltage is, say, 18.8, right? And we have R1, which is 133 kilo ohm, and then R2, which is 10 kilo ohm. We can calculate the resource value of 17.49. 17.49 voltage will be higher than 1.2 volt by the voltage reference. So it will output a high level, which is pulled up by a 3 volt. And I ask, who sent this voltage plus 3 volt VL? Anybody can tell me who sent this voltage? SMPS. SMPS, beautiful. So SMPS will send this plus 3 volt VL. And this plus 3 volt VL is coming from the chart, the, the power 5 volt and 3.3 volt regulator IC as a linear voltage, right? So this is pulled up by PR129 of 10 kilo ohm, which is coming to the gate of this MOSFET. PQ12, this P PQ112A, this MOSFET looks like a 6 degree IC in physical appearance, right? So what will happen is that this will conduct here. 3 volt will conduct to here. This will be to generate the charge enable signal, which is coming so to enable the charge to turn on, charge enable to charge.